Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I want to show you how to make clothing fit better. So here we can see the collar is just a bit loose around her neck area. So I have a quick and easy technique to make this fit really well. Okay, the first thing will be to select my marquee tool here and I will select around the area and I'll give a decent amount of space around the collar. Now I can right click and select layer via copy. So this has added the collar area to a new layer. So now I will come up to my filter menu and I'll select liquify. So I want to make sure the pressure is relatively low so I can make nice gentle uh, tweaks. And I also want to make sure the check show backdrop is selected. So I can see the background layer and I can see what I'm doing when I'm reshaping this collar. So let's increase the brush size because it's always better to make bigger brush strokes when it comes to liquify so it looks more natural. So let's just select and start pushing the collar closer to the neck area. So I'm going to try and do this in one big movement. So something like that works for me. So now I can press OK. The next thing I want to add a layer mask. So we can do this with this icon in the layers panel. And now we have our layer mask filled with white. This means that I can see this layer. So I actually want to hide this layer. So I can press Command I to invert that layer mask. So now we have the layer mask set with black. I want to start brushing over the area. So I'm going to select my brush icon here and I want to make sure my swatch is filled with white. So when I start painting white on the black, I will start to reveal the layer. So let's see, I'll increase the brush size using my square bracket keys and let's right click to check the brush settings. So my hardness is set to zero, so it's really nice and soft and my opacity and flow is set to 100%. So I'm just going to start brushing over the new color. And I'm not worrying too much about any other areas like this coming through over her neck. I just want to get in the new collar. So I just want to make sure that this all looks smooth. So something like this works well. So now I want to switch my background and my foreground colors. So I can do that by pressing the keyboard shortcut X. So now I have black. I'm going to reduce my brush size. And now I can just start removing these extra areas that I don't want in the photo. Oh, let me undo that with Command Z. And I'm just going to bring back her neck area and I can just switch again. So I'm now back to painting with white. And I can do this as many times as I want to perfect this area. So let's have a look at the before and now the after. So maybe I can see a little bit of this is coming through on her neck area. So I just want to make sure that this all looks seamless. Okay, that looks good to me. So let's have another look before and after. So super quick and easy. So if you liked the tutorial, please do like the video and subscribe for more tutorials on retouching in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.